Oh, it's you. All right, quick preamble. A week ago, 66 here done uh, left the wife stranded at the uh, grocery store. It was starting to uh, act weird in the ignition uh, situation, but I wasn't expecting that it was our old friend, the alternator wiring, which has a bunch of hot wires that come from the alternator and back to the battery behind here. They use shitty little wires, and it's a known Chrysler problem for at least 40 years. Every Chrysler I've ever owned, including the blue one next door, and the 64 Chrysler that I had uh, required this repair. Although those ones failed a little bit differently. Um, the time has come. I've at least done it twice before and they were both successful. So I, I, th I know the, uh, the basic pattern here. Um, but it does involve getting the instrument cluster out, dropping the steering wheel. And it's possible here that the steering wheel doesn't... If I don't need to drop it, I won't. Um, the other ones I did definitely required. And in behind this alternator are two wires that uh, somewhere in between here and the battery are burnt out. I bought a bunch of new wire. I bought some uh, fusible links which will prevent this from happening again. Uh, they're like tiny wire. It's just regular wire but it's uh, designed to blow at a certain uh, at a certain amperage. Uh, if this already had those we would see those burnt out up front, but uh, that's part of the problem. That does not have those. We didn't smell anything when it failed, um, so it wasn't quite the uh, the sudden failure that we expected. But uh, I fucking hate dashes, to be honest with you. It's just it's never fun. I only see these two fasteners. I can't tell where the hell. Can't tell where else they go. Yeah, that's well, that's part of the fun, isn't it? All right, I'll be back. I tidied up the main battery cables. One of them a little bit loose to the ground, and uh, and the ground, the black was uh, kind of worn away, and it's like it's fat. So. Uh, I can't say, it's going to probably start right now, but I can't say that this is going to be the end of her. I didn't have you running. Um, I've got a time lapse going outside and I've got one under the, uh, under the hood. That was it for that, anyway. At least I don't have to get behind the dash today. Oh man, we're getting like a shit ton of blow by, man. Poor engine. I would say for today, I'm not taking the dash apart uh, if I don't have to. Some combination of the uh, I mean, battery wires was ultimate culprit, and uh, that's why you start at the battery and uh, work your way inward, because the battery is the most important part of that circuit. I'm looking at it too, and that battery is like five years old, probably. Yeah, it turns over better too. Not so sluggish. Yeah, the poor engine, I mean, that cylinder three was already weak. I haven't tested the compression in a couple of years, so I'll bet if I tested it now, that number three would be way down. But there's obviously some, uh, some piston ring wearage, eh? And it's just blowing straight up. Claim to be unhappy with that. I mean, I'll take 
take every win you can get in life. You know, that was a much easier fix than I was banking on, although I was, you know, willing to go the whole way. But I don't think there's any need to uh, get into that now. It's solid. I really should get another battery and redo the main wiring. And maybe I should just do the bypass anyway, just not today. When I'm doing the wiring up there, maybe I will refresh it all so that, you know, there'll be another 10 years where I have to worry about it. struggling though because uh, the accelerator pump was just dangling down like basically just engaged and the little hook that keeps it up and is modified by the uh, throttle is doing fuck all <sighs> well such a small job I'm fucking wiped out the screw has come out of the mount where this uh, plunger hook goes but if I put a screw in there and tighten it down it'll no longer have the uh, motion so I think what was really in there was a sleeve of some type that the screw goes through but um, allows the um, uh, lever to, to operate I'm just trying to think what I have I don't have anything specific like that but uh, there's probably something attached to something somewhere copper or brass would be best. 